Hey there, viewers, and welcome back to another Bestie video. Did you know that more than 100 million Americans have high cholesterol? Why is that a problem, you ask? Because high cholesterol can contribute to a wide range of health problems like stroke and heart disease. But the good news is that unlike other conditions, high cholesterol can be rolled back to healthy levels. While medication can help lower it, there are also several lifestyle tweaks you can change right now that can make a big impact. And in today's video, we'll tell you ways to lower cholesterol naturally. From physical activity, eating fiber-rich foods, not smoking, changing the way you cook food to reading nutrition labels and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Stop Cutting Carbs Eating healthy, complex carbohydrates is a great way to lower your cholesterol naturally. Soluble fiber is only found in carbohydrate foods like whole grains, fruit, and starchy veggies, and it plays a major role in removing cholesterol from the body. Research shows simply eating 5 to 10 grams of soluble fiber per day can lower your bad cholesterol levels. Try adding a quarter cup of chickpeas to your favorite salad and enjoying some berries with your morning plate of eggs to start reaping the benefits. What's your favorite food that has healthy carbs? Tell us quickly down below in the comment section. Number 2. Get Moving your level of physical activity can actually have a huge impact on your cholesterol. One study found that, depending on the intensity of the exercise, you can raise good and lower bad cholesterol. Those with elevated cholesterol are advised to exercise five times per week for at least 30 minutes each time. This activity should include a mix of moderate intensity aerobic exercise combined with moderate to high intensity resistance training. Those with healthy cholesterol can aim for less intense exercise. They should do low intensity resistance training five times a week for 30 minutes or more. Additionally, regular exercise can help you reach a healthy weight, which is another great way to lower cholesterol. Number three, eat healthy fats. You may think of saturated and trans fat as bad for your cholesterol, but not all fats are bad. Some fats actually lower them. Eating more omega-3s found in fatty fish and flaxseed improves good cholesterol, which prevents plaque buildup. Poly and monounsaturated fats found in avocados and nuts actually reduce the bad cholesterol in your body. Plus, these foods also come with fiber, antioxidants, and phytosterols, which all assist in lowering cholesterol and protecting the body from inflammation. Number 4. Eat Fiber-Rich Foods It is recommended that you eat 25 grams of fiber daily for a 2,000-calorie diet. Unfortunately, only 5% of Americans are meeting these requirements. There are two kinds of fiber, soluble and insoluble. Soluble fiber has been shown to lower cholesterol. It binds with cholesterol in the intestines and prevents it from being absorbed. It also helps to slow down digestion and can help regulate blood sugar by slowing down how quickly it rises. Some sources are oatmeal, legumes, cruciferous vegetables, and fruits like apples and pears. Insoluble fiber helps to move food through your digestive system and increases stool bulk, which normalizes bowel movements. You can find it in wheat bran, whole wheat flour, nuts, beans, and veggies like cauliflower, potatoes, celery, and cucumbers. Number 5. Manage Your Weight what and how we eat influences how our bodies process cholesterol. Walnuts have been found to decrease bad and increase good cholesterol. Furthermore, weight loss, even when moderate, can have a positive effect on cholesterol levels. A study found that people who lost as little as 5 to 10 percent of their weight showed remarkable reductions in bad cholesterol, triglycerides, and total cholesterol. Have we sparked your interest? Make sure you join our millions of followers and hit that subscribe button for all our great bestie content. Number 6. Try having one vegetarian meal every week Don't let the word vegetarian scare you. By choosing a smartly prepared veggie meal, you're hitting multiple cholesterol-lowering goals at the same time, like eating healthier fats and getting more soluble fiber. Plus, many vegetarian meals are just as flavorful and filling as their meaty cousins. The key here is to build up a routine, like making every Tuesday vegetarian night. Once that becomes the norm, try expanding to different nights or adding a weekly vegetarian lunch, too. You can also be flexitarian by eating smaller portions of meat. Over time, these modifications can really pay off. Number 7. Don't Smoke Smoking can increase bad cholesterol while also decreasing the good. And it's not just cigarettes that can be a risk factor. Smoking a water pipe or hookah has also been associated with increasing bad cholesterol. A study found that the bad cholesterol levels of long-term smokers were significantly higher when compared to non-smokers. Quitting smoking, on the other hand, can improve these levels. Good cholesterol levels can increase by as much as 5% over the course of one year if you quit smoking. Number 8. Go easy on red meat before you head out to the supermarket to restock, take a moment to review your shopping list and see if there's a chance to make some easy protein switches. 
For starters, go easy on the red meat. It's high in saturated fat, which can raise bad cholesterol. For healthier alternatives, choose skinless chicken or turkey more often and avoid processed meats. You can also try working more fish into your diet. Fish are low in saturated fats and may also contain omega-3 fatty acids, which benefit your heart health and can boost your good cholesterol levels. All that said, steak and hamburger can be hard to resist. When you're out grilling, try and choose leaner cuts of meat. Number 9. Prepare your food a little differently It's not only what you eat, it's how you eat it. Just as you can change what you buy in the grocery store, you can also choose healthier ways to make your food that help lower your cholesterol naturally. Trim fat and remove the skin either before cooking or before eating with meat or fish. This helps you get protein while reducing fat intake. Focus on boiling, broiling, baking, poaching, or grilling. These are better methods of preparation than deep frying or breading, which can bring in extra fat. When you do need to add fat, use healthy oils instead of solid fats like butter, margarine, shortening, and lard. Solid fats are high in saturated fats, but oils are high in unsaturated fats, which are better for you. Try using olive, sunflower, or grapeseed oil instead. If you'd rather use olive oil than butter, substitute three-fourths the amount of butter in a recipe with olive oil. Number 10. Eat more probiotics Fermented foods like kimchi, sauerkraut, and kombucha have become very popular as research highlights the importance of having a healthy gut. Not only is your microbiome responsible for improving digestion and boosting your immune system, it can also impact cholesterol. The good bacteria found in probiotic foods help lower cholesterol. Kimchi, in particular, contains compounds that actually block cholesterol from being absorbed into the bloodstream. Just be sure to watch out for salt and sugar content when buying probiotic foods, as many can be high in one or the other. Apart from lowering your cholesterol and being good for your gut, probiotics like yogurt can do so much for your health. Learn more of what we're talking about by watching Eat Yogurt Every Day for One Week and See What Happens to Your Body. Now back to simple ways to bring down your cholesterol naturally. Number 11. Embrace low-fat milk, cheese, and yogurt Choosing to lower your cholesterol doesn't mean you have to give up everything you enjoy. It's simply about making smarter choices. When it comes to dairy, picking a healthier alternative can be an easy win. For items like cheese, milk, cream, and yogurt, use low-fat instead. If you're feeling experimental, try soy milk too. Who knows, you might really enjoy it. Making these changes is helpful because full-fat dairy contains saturated fat as well as cholesterol. By picking a low or non-fat version, you're building healthier levels of cholesterol in your bloodstream. Number 12. Watch your alcohol intake It is recommended that men should drink no more than two drinks per day and women should stop after one. Drinking too much alcohol can actually raise triglyceride levels in your blood, leading to high cholesterol. Drinking too much alcohol increases your risk for high blood pressure, stroke, heart failure, and can increase calorie intake, all of which impact cholesterol. The one exception may be red wine, as studies show it has some heart-healthy antioxidant power, but don't overdo it. Number 13. Read Nutrition Labels You've probably heard this advice over and over again because it's one of the easiest things you can do to help control your cholesterol. Read Nutrition Labels they can help you avoid one of the worst ingredients for your cholesterol, trans fat, also known as hydrogenated oils. These are sneaky ingredients that may be good for food manufacturers, but they're not good for you. They contribute to raising bad cholesterol levels while reducing the good. High cholesterol can be very dangerous for your heart. It's important to recognize heart problems early so you can catch anything serious. You can do that by watching 10 Unusual Heart Attack Symptoms in Women or 9 Signs of Heart Failure You Should Never Ignore These two videos will help you better understand the symptoms of a weak heart so that you can take preventative action. So go ahead and watch one or both of them. Have you ever been affected by high cholesterol? Let us know in the comment section below.